Welcome to Fantasy Legends, my name's Scott and today we're going to be talking about one of Final Fantasy's um, new games that are coming out, Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier. For those of you that don't know, Final Fantasy The First Soldier is a competitive action shooter with RPG elements, where up to 75 players are placed in the same battlefield as each other, a bit like um, Fortnite and uh, games like PUBG, games like that. As time passes um, between each game on the battlefield, the area that the players can be in will shrink. A bit again like all these um, Battle Royale games. So it's very similar in the same format. So um, this could always be a cash grab from uh, Square Enix. <laughs> At the moment, we only have two game modes, which allow you to play solo or in teams of three. Um, it would be nice to have teams of two and four. Hopefully, they'll add that in the future. One thing that does excite me and worries me a bit is the customization and the RPG elements of the game, as um, you will be allowed to carry two firearms at the same time, which will be able to obviously be switched um, intermittently between the two. And at the same time, you'll be able to have three materia slots, which I assume and have been so far very similar to the Final Fantasy VII Remake material. So obviously you'll be able to customise that way. Uh, what worries me about it is that, is this going to be a pay-to-win mechanic? Are they going to charge a lot of money, you know, to buy these material as it is a mobile game? Hopefully it'll be a bit like Fortnite where you just pay for skins and it's not really pay-for-win. You also have consumables in the game where you can carry two different consumables. You can pick these up during the matches, as well as um, you have, like, you know, swords, fists, staves. There's actually a real big variety of things you can do in terms of, you know, even powering up the materia so your spells um, level up as well. Um, and you even have MP in this. So it is, you know, quite customizable. Uh, my worry is, as I said before, if they're going to um, monetize these. Another RPG element that will be in the game, at the moment at least, um, as we are only in the beta stage, so most of this is um, subject to change if um, you know Square Enix decide to add more, and I do expect them to add more classes and weapons and material as time goes on. Um, however, at the moment we've got four classes, the Warrior, the Sorcerer, the Monk and the Ranger. All four of them have different starting weapons and um, will have different traits. So you'll have different um, things that you can do, like in terms of, you know, what you're good at. However, the, you know, key mechanics will still be the same. So even though that you choose a different class, you'll still be able to win against the other classes. Uh, there may obviously be one meta one that's better in the end. Um, obviously, this will be depend if you're playing solo or in threes. You'll also be able to run, jump and climb on the battlefield. You'll also be able to earn and find gill and spend money on vending machines, obtaining new items, upgrading equipment, purchasing ammo, just things like that. It seems quite a wide variety. Um, to be honest with you, I'm quite looking forward to this game. The only thing that I would say that really dampens my enthusiasm about it is that it's um, phone only. So, <laughs> you know, it will just be on the um, App Store or in um, Google um play store so i'm not really looking forward to that due to obviously screen size obviously you could use a tablet but even so you'll still have to you know use the touch mechanics so in conclusion i'm really looking forward to this game however i just wish it was on console or pc rather than just on mobile oh it's a bit crowded on mobile you know you've got a lot of things to do in this game and i just feel like it will be a bit hampered by the screen size and obviously the mobility of phones However, it's not just the gameplay I'm looking forward to, as it is set 30 years before the events of Final Fantasy VII, so we might get quite a bit of new lore into the um, series, which I'm always interested in, to be honest with you. So what do you guys think? Are you looking forward to Final Fantasy First Soldier? Is it a game that you're going to play, or is it one you're going to miss? Or are you happy that it's on mobile? I know a lot. this is going to put off a lot of people. Let me know in the comments section down below. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for listening.